Have you ever been denied a position or promotion just because of the ink on your skin? Maybe it was due to an official policy against tattoos in the workplace? Or perhaps it was someone's personal views on your appearance? While well, tattoos are becoming more widely accepted, it's also true that not all employers welcome their appearance. But how about in the PPO or call center industry? Are tattooed people welcome or accepted? Or if tattoos are okay at work? Hmm, good question. So for today's vlog, we're going to provide answer to that question. At the same time, we'll be sharing personal experiences, insights, views from call center employees. But before that, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe and click on the bell button to be notified on our next videos. Enjoy! Sorry, it's DJ. are the most flexible earners in the world. We converse in English even if we do not take English majors. We go over bills even if we're not an accountant. We troubleshoot and fix issues even if we're not computer savvy people. We take irate and aggressive people with ease even if we're not psychology graduates. We even say sorry even if it's not our fault. We help people even if they don't mean to us. We genuinely put a smile even if we have problems deep inside. So kudos to all of us call center or BPO employees. But going back to the question, are tattooed people welcome or accepted in the BP or call center industry? Or if tattoos are okay at work? Let's find out. As human beings, we all have a story to tell. Good times, bad times. Experiences, things, characters that are important and have impacted upon us are all integral parts of what makes us who we are as both professionals and human beings. There are those who use words, stories, to speak of their experiences and some who use pictures, symbols, and art. For many, tattoos are a form of art or a fashion statement. For others, they can even be a way of life or a medium of self-expression. When choosing a tattoo, consider the size and placement carefully. Take into account the professional image you're trying to portray to your future or current employers. Ultimately, you decide how to live your life. Working in the call center or BPO industry with tattoos is no trouble as long as you're mindful of requirements and expectations. Non-visible tattoos are almost always allowed. If your tattoo is not exposed or it could easily be covered, you'll rarely have problems with the upper management, even if they know about it. Full sleeves and other excessive tattoos that are visible are not always accepted, but are sometimes tolerated. Facial tattoos, along with offensive tattoos that are visible, are often prohibited. After all, protecting the professional image of the organization comes first. Chances are, such cases will be viewed in a very negative light due to social stigma. In conclusion, unless you go overboard with the ink on your skin, you'll likely find a call center job that lets you enjoy some freedom of expression. As the popularity of tattoos increases, most organizations are responding by implementing flexible policies 
and less restrictions regarding tattooed individuals. Furthermore, BPO professionals don't face as much scrutiny regarding their appearance compared to others. <clears throat> there is currently no nationally accepted policy concerning tattoos in the workplace. This being said, formal restrictions and unwritten rules vary greatly from BPO to BPO. Most BPO industry are okay with a little bit of visible body ink, as long as it's not offensive. I think tattoos have become so normal these days that it can be okay to openly show them at work, as long as their motives are not offensive, as long as the wearer is a competent salesman. Tattoos or no tattoos, as long as the person is a good salesperson and well-mannered, there should not exist any problem. As long as it's not visible, also tattoos that may offend colleagues need to be covered or removed. Yes, I saw a supervisor with visible tattoos. A lot of the agents had visible tattoos. At the time I worked there, visible tattoos were allowed as long as it wasn't anything offensive. Yes, you can have tattoos, but they could not be in your neck or face unless you're able to cover them. I work in a BPO and now in a non-BPO, but no dress code environment type of work. I have visible tattoos in my lower arms. During the interview, I wore long sleeves to hide it, but when I accepted the job order, I discussed this with my recruiter and she said there were no problems. IT and BPO companies and other small-scale companies don't mind. Those who are in banking, sales, and public service, will they mind since they'll be facing their clients or customers? Most BPO companies don't mind. It's becoming more common to see professionals with skin bling. But it's very important to consider how your tattoo's composition and placement might impact your potential to be hired before getting one. All right, so that's the end of our blog for today. So I'm hoping that you are inspired with the views and opinions provided by our call center employees. So for, for any blog content, feel free to comment on the comment section down below. And of course, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click on the bell button for you to be notified on our next videos. Goodbye. Sorry, it's DJ.